Hey everyone, today we are taking a look at the JT Flex 8 mask. And this is more of a budget mask. Definitely not the most expensive mask out there. Um, not the cheapest either, but still like a pretty good beginner mask or a mask if you just don't want to spend a ton of money, it's going to definitely get the job done. Um, the main reason for that is it does come with a dual pane lens, which honestly, if it doesn't come with a dual pane lens, don't buy it. Just trust me on that. You don't want to deal with that. Uh, and then other than that, it's pretty much just kind of a standard mask. Uh, it does have a removable sun visor, as many masks do. It's, you know, regular coverage, nothing revolutionary, nothing crazy. Uh, they do have this nice rubberized strap, so it's going to stay in place. And there's a little bit of extra foam over by the ears just to keep it a little bit more comfortable. So, you know, that's nice. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed just by like me holding it, but it's a very small mask. Like it seems very small. It's um, so it's definitely going to be better for like younger kids or if you just have a very small head, you might actually really like this. Um, if you've got a gigantic head, this might not be the best mask for you, but you know, that's up to you. Um, and the only real thing other than that, that I need to tell you about is is the lens change. And I'm not looking forward to this. It's the worst. This has the worst lens change. Like it is great that you can swap lenses. Like you always need to be able to do that. But I don't know, someone, some sadistic person designed this, this lens change cause it's just awful. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna show you how it works. So the first thing you wanna do is just remove the visor so it's not in your way while you're doing everything else. And to do that, you literally just pull up on it and it's gonna pop out of the frame. So your next step is gonna be the tabs on either side of the lens itself. All you wanna do is pull in towards the center of the mask and you're gonna feel the two tabs on each side pop out. Once you've done that to both sides, then you're gonna remove the frame of the mask from the lens itself. And the only thing keeping it on is a bunch of little posts that go into their little respective holes. So you just wanna basically pull them out and they'll just pop out of place. So your next step is to remove the lens from the liner. And there's not really a good way to do this. The lens is held in with a bunch of prongs with teeth on either side. And you essentially just wanna pry the liner off and just sort of pop all those teeth out. Uh, we did find it was a little bit easier to start around the top of the lens and then work your way towards the nose. But whatever way works for you, as long as you get it out, that's all that matters. Then you just do what you need to do, either clean your lens or change your lens, whatever, and then we're gonna put it back in. So at this point, you just wanna put the liner back on around the lens. Again, no real good easy way to do this. You just kinda have to struggle with it. You just wanna make sure that all of those teeth with the, with the prongs on either side are in their respective slots on the liner. And we did find that it was a little bit easier if you line up all of those sort of teethy prong things with their respective holes first. Once everything's lined up, then you would essentially just push those teeth through and, you know, get them attached to the liner. Once you have the liner back on, then you're going to want to reattach it to the rest of the mask. So you just want to line up those posts on the mask with their respective holes in the lens and just pop them into place. After that, you wanna get those two tab things on the sides of the lens and you just wanna line them up with the posts that hold them in and just push them down into place and you'll feel them pop into place if you've done it correctly. And your final step is just to reattach the visor. Visor is held on the same way that the mask holds onto the frame. It's just got some posts and you just line the posts up with their respective holes and just push it in until it pops into place. And you're done. So there you have it. Terrible lens change system. You'll hate every second of it. But other than that, this is a decent mask, especially like if you're not trying to spend a ton of money on a mask, this is definitely gonna get the job done, 100%. It's just when it comes down to changing the lens, you're gonna hate every second of it. And that's just the way it goes. So hopefully you don't have to do that too often. But yeah, those of you out there that use the Flex 8, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, how do you feel about the lens change? Is there a trick to it? Is there a way to get better at it so it isn't just such a struggle? If there is, please let us know in the comments. I'm sure lots of people would appreciate that. And thanks for watching.